report shows that migrant workers face systemic exploitation. Temporary foreign workers are particularly vulnerable to abuse. They have no access to permanent residency and there is little oversight. To make life even more difficult, new government changes mean employers can now pay migrant workers 15% less than the average Canadian worker. Mr. Speaker, why is this government failing to protect migrant workers from abuse? And the Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Mr. Speaker, I re reject the premise of the question entirely. Firstly, our government has introduced a policy which allows us to essentially blacklist bad employers of temporary foreign workers. It is up to provinces, of course, to regulate the workplace, and tem temporary foreign workers have the same rights as all Canadians in that respect. I I I she's it right wrong in characterizing the 15 percent rule. Uh, no employer can pay 15 percent less unless it's a skilled worker, and Canadians are getting the paid the same wage. Finally, I find it peculiar that the NDP and the Liberals opposed our effort to bring in statutory authority allowing us to deny visas to people, typically women, who will face uh, humiliating and degrading treatment, for example, in the sex industry. That's right.